Hey everyone, Reminex here. I'm going to give you guys my take on costumes, what I think is wrong with them, what I think is right with them, and just really the overall impact that they can have on the game. And uh, we'll stay tuned, guys. You'll see things that, that, um, that I hope they do down the road. And is there a costume that you guys want to see? Put it in the comments. Uh, but more importantly, something that you might buy. So let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, so we pulled chat today, and when we pulled chat... Um, we as unscientific as possible here. You guys can take a look at it. You guys can see. So when chat, if you guys take a look. So how much would you spend for costumes? So if you take a look, it's, you know, zero to five. The majority of chat, we had about 400 people in the stream at the time. Um, you know, six to 10. So the pricing for the costumes feels a little bit off here. And so I was debating buying the Electra skin because I my Shadowlands are phenomenal. But just at that price... And it might have just been that they overestimated the value of the other items they had in an offer. I'm just a little concerned um, by a few things here, and we're going to talk about it. So let's take a look at Electra's costume. This is the one that a lot of the concern was brought, brought up over. So you can take a look over here. So it's a modern costume, looks cooler, you know, looks more like her representation in... Uh, what we saw in the Netflix series. But for me, don't use them enough to really justify it. And it's not like she has different animations or anything or anything cool. So I think they missed a mark on the pricing. And I think the biggest problem was they were giving us, and that orb, by the way, was one of the most deceptive pieces of offers I've ever seen in a video game. And, and I played quite a few. And the fact that that orb had no label, you couldn't figure out what it was. And when you bought the offer, it was literally a three red, no chance for hire, Electra. They definitely overestimated what people were looking for. So 50 shards, some gold, and then the three red Electra, and then the, the currency for the Electra for 50 bucks. Just missed the mark for me for what I would want to buy for a costume. So personally, I thought it was just outrageous if you guys bought it I, I understand it but let's talk a little bit about something here that i think it's important to understand so let's say you bought that offer and you go to the costume store well you don't have to buy her costume here okay you have 50k credits you could save for the next one so these are not limited time offers there will be limited ones coming down the road here but these are the general ones that happen in the store so these are Costume credits, these are the ones that are going to be permanent in the, at least as far as my interpretation, the ones that are permanently available. So if you bought that offer, you could save them for a costume you care about. So we don't know if that pricing is going to stay the same, or sometimes they'll have special savings on these. Just feel like they missed the mark. So so we'll kind of go through some of the costumes that are in the game uh, so you get an idea of, of what you're looking at. So they have they have a few different costume characters. You can just sort that on your tab and take a look at all the costumes. Now we had this for a brief period of time for free in the game. We all saw the X-Force, that's pretty cool. Um, it's just really a reskin color it, and, and the X on his chest piece and the X on his shoulder. So it's not like it's like offering particle effects. Like let's say his sword was dripping with blood. I don't know, I'm just saying some sort of cool effect that changed realistically all you're getting is 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 the art difference go to the next character here you'll see that captain marvel now this is vers from when she uh was in the mcu's version of her um of her uh of, of her outfit when she was working with the kree thirty three thousand. what was it 29 dollars Nick Fury, this is going to be a special one from the event when if you do the Kestrel campaign. And this is kind of cool because literally you're going to be getting special campaigns. So let's say you guys don't want to get the Nick Fury costume. At the end of the event, it sounds like they're going to convert over into costume credits. So you could buy the um, the ones that appear in the store. Some of them are going to be limited time only. Hopefully they, they establish that early on. And those currency that you're going to be earning in these events is actually going to transfer over. So if you're you're getting Kestrel through the event, which I really hope you guys are. She's amazing. You're going to be able to get this costume uh, just by opening orbs. We'll see how we'll see from the milestone how much it'll actually cost. Um, so 
that's just the big the big difference there. Another one that I'm interested in. Now we're going to talk about this. Uh, turn down frown upside down. Um, yeah, classic Thor siege Thor. Uh, interesting. Pretty cool. They can do different particle effects. Let's say he had more like lightning. They can do like MCU version of it. It's interesting. Again, this isn't currently available in the game, may not be what it finally looks like, but particle effects are something that I would spend more money on. I don't think I'd still spend 50 bucks on a skin unless it was, you know, my favorite character. So we saw Electra's. So this is Visions. Uh, we'll talk about it. So they actually have a WandaVision, the 50s. So if you're ready for a business and you're in the business of spending money and giving Scopely money, well, you could have the shirt and tie or right for it. But uh, interesting, I, I don't dislike this kit at all. It's kind of cool, black and white. Uh, I, I'm definitely interested in that. Hopefully it'll be uh, a little more reasonable. Scarlet Witch, you'll see this here. Um, definitely interesting. Um, so, so this is a little bit different. So this is like a full costume change. Again, it looks like maybe the because it's because it's black and white. I wonder if her abilities look like that in game. It'll be interesting enough to see if the actual abilities look like they're black and white. Stay tuned. It might be worth me uh, picking that up to determine that. So we'll have to take a look uh, down the road here. And then. So that's it. Those are the costumes that are currently in the game. There's probably a lot more coming. Uh, I'm really hoping that uh, they kind of listen to the team here and talk about like what we're looking for. So if you guys don't know, I played a game called Marvel Heroes. Marvel Heroes had some really cool costumes. They changed the way that it looks. So they actually had a simple, uh, they had a black suit Spider-Man just like this, where you actually had the cool particle effects. This is something cool. When I talk about particle effects, in case you're wondering where you see the actual tendrils of the symbiote, like pop out of the suit, something interesting to me, uh, you know? And so, like I said, uh, the one I'm looking the most forward to is uh, Age of Apocalypse for certain characters, Phoenix Force for certain characters in the game. Uh, I would love to see uh, just a ton of um, like MCU version of characters like with Stormbreaker, Thor. Uh, my son really would, would make me buy that one if it was available. So there's just a lot of different skins out there, maybe a little bit different like Doctor Doom with his um, his future foundation. So, you know, uh, I, I'm really glad so far that all they are offering is just a cosmetic portion of it. I'm not sure why the pricing is there. It doesn't feel like the price is right. And I do things that you don't have to, but I'm also not going to do things that I don't think you should do either. And unfortunately, nothing here as of yet has really appealed to me in the skin shop, the costume shop. And so, it's a hard pass for me right now, guys. And I love the art department. I think they are probably one of the the biggest mechanisms at Scopely slash Foxnext slash Boundless Entertainment that really exemplifies uh, a passion for what they do. Uh, they often provide phenomenal artwork uh, and and, uh, and animations in the game. So uh, with the initial offering, just uh, uh, color me unimpressed. I don't feel like it's definitely something that um you should spend money on but again if you guys bought it let me know what you guys think it'll be cool someday when uh my shadow lands with my shadow uh i'll probably buy the shadowland daredevil as you guys don't know i got the seven the seven red stars so might as well uh i'll probably pick that up down the road now i think i said that before and i got daredevil the seven red stars so it is what it is check you guys soon love you much stay tuned we got a lot more uh content coming your way but that's just my impression on skins